Ever drink coffee expecting that energy kick, but nothing happens? Or maybe you've never felt caffeine work at all. If that sounds like you, stick around because today, we're breaking down the surprising reasons why caffeine might not be affecting you. Caffeine blocks a chemical in your brain called adenosine, which makes you feel sleepy. But if caffeine isn't giving you a boost, there are several possible reasons. First, you might have built up a tolerance. Over time, your body adapts, so regular coffee drinkers may not feel caffeine's effects as strongly. Taking a break or consuming more might reset that. If you don't drink coffee often and still don't feel caffeine's effects, it could be your genes. Some people break down caffeine faster due to their genetics, meaning it doesn't stick around long enough to give you that energy hit. Unfortunately, you can't change your genetic makeup, but experimenting with different types of caffeine might help you find one that works better for you. Caffeine can't fix a lack of sleep. If you're sleep deprived, adenosine builds up too much for caffeine to handle. If that's you, sometimes it's better to take a nap instead of reaching for that extra coffee. Certain medications like antidepressants or blood pressure meds can lessen caffeine's effect. If you've noticed a change in how caffeine affects you after starting new meds, this might be why. Sometimes you're just not drinking enough caffeine to feel it. Science shows that lower doses might not give you that buzz. If one cup isn't enough, try a second, but stay within safe limits, 400 milligrams per day. Eating a high fiber meal with your coffee can slow down caffeine absorption. Foods like whole grains or beans can delay how quickly caffeine kicks in. Try having your coffee separately from meals for a stronger effect. For those with ADHD, caffeine can sometimes make you feel calm or sleepy. The science is mixed, but it's likely tied to your individual genetics, not necessarily ADHD itself. So what can you do? Make sure you're well rested, try increasing your caffeine intake within safe limits, or drink it without food to enhance absorption. Caffeine affects everyone differently. With some trial and error, you might find what works best for you. That's it. From tolerance to genetics, now you know why caffeine might not be working for you. If this was helpful, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. How does caffeine affect you?